Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about WooCommerce multi-step checkout wizard. So with the help of this plugin you will be able to create a multi-step checkout wizard. So like rather than going from add to cart, then cart page, then checkout page, th that is like a very old school method. We will create a, a progress bar or something like a wizard setup so it will look good on your website. Let me explain you how. Like if you click on the live preview, then you will get to know what we are talking about. I guess if they are working, if their live preview is working, then I can show you. But in the meantime, if you want to know more about this particular plugin, you can always check out this uh, documentation section of this particular plugin, which is always available on the Code Canyon website. Right? I guess the link is not working. So never mind. Apart from that, first of all, you need to buy this plugin. Yeah, the link is not working. I just checked it. So first thing is that you need to buy this plugin. I guess this is a very affordable price for such a great feature for WooCommerce, right? So I'm assuming that you have already bought this plugin and our next step is to install this particular plugin on our website, right? So coming back to my website, I generally use uh, youtube.smhranclub.com for my all YouTube tutorial videos, right? You also know that. Okay. As you can see on this particular domain, I have installed and made a very good looking e-commerce website and with all the free resources out there. And you can see that it is also available with edit with Elementor. Elementor is one of the pay best page builder, I would say best page builder out there. So if you really like uh, me to make a whole e-commerce tutorial, do let me know in the comment section. I will definitely make a whole one or two hour video dedicated to e-commerce only okay so let's get started with the video first of all you need to log into your dashboard it's pretty simple just come here type here login or i would rather suggest you wp admin wp slash admin dash admin okay hit enter so if you're logging in for the first time it will ask you for the username and password which you have entered while you were installing wordpress on your uh, hosting account right and once you are logged in, this is called the dashboard or the backend of your website. So with the help of this interface, you will be able to play around in any kind of setting, like all the kinds of setting, and you will be able to create your website more amazing. Cool. I will just give you a quick tour under the appearance section. You will see theme options like which theme you are using and customization option. You can always customize all the settings related to the theme. You can always add a new widget okay and you can always create a new uh, menu bar for header or footer site template this is uh, a option which comes with astra options i guess astra theme that's what i'm using in this particular website okay coming to the plugin section here is the section where you can add or delete plugin so basically a plugin works like this if you want to add some kind of certain functionality on your website like you want a form you want a slider you want an image gallery for that kind of certain functionality you always need a plugin i will move forward to that particular section in depth don't worry about it okay under the user section you will find all kinds of user like admin editor subscriber and if you want to add multiple admin in a same website, you can always do that. You just have to assign that role to another person, right? So under the tool section, you will always find available tool, import export tool, site health. You can always export your whole personal data. You can erase your personal data and everything and all that. Under the settings section, you will find general settings, reading, writing setting, discussion setting so that you can enable or disable the comment section from the blog post. There are the post, uh, these are generally called the blog post or the permalink. So basically one of the important aspect is you have to always select this post name as your permalink setting and save these settings. Okay. So be because this is generally one of the most important aspect when it's come to SEO search engine optimization of your own website. Okay. Coming back to the plug plugin section, I will show you what are the plugins. These are the basic plugins which are required to make a really good looking uh, e-commerce website. Okay. So we have to add our new plugin, which was this uh, multi-step checkout wizard. Okay. Before adding it, I will uh, tell you what is the major difference between free plugin and a paid plugin premium plugin. As you can see, WordPress itself provide you a lot of free plugins, right? A lot of free plugins. Okay. So, but the thing is, there is a lot of difference between free plugin and a paid plugin. Free plugin does not come with a lot of functionalities and their key feature is always logged inside their own premium plugin okay let me explain you 
like everybody knows that yoast seo is one of the most famous and popular seo plugin okay so whenever you install this plugin and you want to do the seo of a single page or a post you have to add some kind of certain key phrases for that particular post or a page okay but the thing is whenever you go and add a single key phrase on the free plugin you will be only add, you there will be a limit to add only one single key key phrase okay but the thing is when you go and purchase their uh, premium plugin premium yoast plugin then you will be able to add up to five key phrases that is really good right so that's how marketing works okay i personally suggest you whenever you have a small amount of money to invest upon your business in the very initial stage always go for two things a very good premium theme and a very good premium plugin okay i hope you got my point let's upload that particular plugin to our website click here upload select the file okay as you can see here is the plugin multi step checkout wizard let's upload it uh, install now process totally depends upon your internet speed let's activate this particular plugin as you can see it has been activated successfully now let me guide you side by side by uh, checking out on our own website let's go here store let's purchase anything like if i go here add to cart and let's view the cart as you can see right now there are three item in the cart proceed to check out this is the normal structure it looks let me disable this plugin then you will see how it looks before okay refresh it this is how it looks there is no step for payment and billing address and everything okay when the moment i uh, activate this plugin the moment i activate this plugin it will look something like this it will be converted into two steps right first of all you need to add your billing address and everything then there will be payment option cool and we can always play around with all kind of settings let uh, go here and here will be option under the woocommerce option there will be checkout option click here and here you can uh, change the type of the wizard if you want a progress bar just select the progress bar go to the last and save changes and refresh it you will see there will be a progress bar right and if, if you don't want a progress bar you want a modern uh, looking wizard site just save the changes come here and they will be modern let's go with this type of uh, uh, wizard okay cool so now do you want a registration form or not in your setup wizard no we don't want do you want to uh, add coupon option on your setup wizard uh, let's add this and let me show you what it will look like if i add it save changes and let's refresh the page so it will first ask you for the coupon if you have a coupon just add it and it will be discounted from your payment okay if you don't just click next that's it cool and you can always go back to the previous step okay we have added a coupon combine billing and shipping no we don't want to combine order no we don't want to add a order review yes at the end we can add a order review and we can save the changes and let's refresh it and here you can see order review option you have to just make the payment then there will be a review option there uh, where you can always uh, give review to the product okay so i guess uh, you want to add the product thumbnail no animation if you want to slide in you can always have that do you want it horizontal or vertical let's change it to vertical and animation is slide let's check it out how it looks okay and let's refresh it will be like this now i'm pretty sure let's refresh it this has been changed i guess vertical horizontal i don't think so orientation i don't think so that orientation belongs to that particular thing okay refresh it okay that doesn't make any sense totally <laughs> coming back to the next step you can always change the color of each and every section activation step uh, like do you want to change the color background of that particular button you can always have a green color button who never likes a green color right if you refresh it there will be a green color button right the more the more you play with the setting and the more you will get to know about each and every setting for that particular set of wizard i hope you really get my point what i was trying to explain and i want to wrap this video up that was a really short video how you can make your checkout page really look amazing right i hope you really like this video if you did just give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one